Hey, what is up, guys? This is Forever Loan Yu Gi Oh! Back again with another Duel Links video, and today, the DD Tower Water Dimension event has just been released. And I never played this event before. I think they had a uh, DD Fire Tower before, uh, in which you can get a Pyrorex, the Elemental Lord, the, ele the Fire Elemental Lord. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't in Duel Links uh, when it happened, so. I will try to play this event uh, blindly. This will be a blind playthrough. But I did read a little bit about the um, like the instructions, how to play and whatnot. Uh, I just catch a little bit like it's, it says that the life points will be carried over. You need to play against a series of monsters and whatnot. But oh yeah, let's let's just see how it goes. I will just use um, my normal. Normal uh, farm uh, standard duelist deck. <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy like that. Um, let's let's use a uh, Rex because uh, it's it's pretty cool. Um, this is the deck that I'll be using. It's just my standard, um, my go-to standard duelist deck that I usually use for auto play, auto duel. It's basically just a, a bit down, a bit down deck with a bunch of um, glossy cards and prismatic cards. And yeah, th this is the deck that I will be using. Uh, I I'm I'm kind of interested with the with the rewards, um, but I'm also intrigued with the event itself because I never really play this, and so this this is a really new experience for me. Um, the BGM is quite cool. My opinion, it's pretty cool the BGM. So first thing we have Turu Purun. You go no further. Turu Purun, stop you. Um, let's just let's just out to do because it's just level ten. <laughs> um, let let's see what what this what Turupurun got. Okay. Um, I'm using a Titan a uh, Titan Showdown uh, th for the skill. Oh, he got Wetlands. Damn. <laughs> Seems like I can. I can't, uh, you know, I, I have to take this a little bit more seriously, but thankfully we opened the Fiend Mega Cyber. <laughs> what? Turu Puru? Not a bad deck, man. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, I really like the background as well. It's like, you know, it's it looks like tower, you know, like a, a tower that you go. So, just like that, easy win, Turu Puru. Uh, I don't think we lost life points. Oh, we did lost 200 life points, so it's pretty bad. We complete this and receive LP potion. Okay, mission point three, DD box. Uh, like I said, this uh, I never played this event before, so this will be a blind playthrough. So in this DD box, you can get this list of uh, rewards, and obviously, what we want is. The super rares. I, I really want this card, Gishki Aerials. Uh, I think it will be fairly relevant in the future. Uh, Gishki, they start to release some Gishki cards for um, this is a ice barrier. Gishki Natalia and Gishki Emilia. Both are spirits, so um, both are kind of kind of garbage at the moment. But in the future, maybe you know, Gishki will probably be a thing, and Gishki Aerials would be a really good thing to have when when it came. So I think you can open this every time you have a three mission point. That would be my guess. Each box contains 17 items in total and the number will be reduced each time you exchange with the mission point. Okay. One of the following cards from the fire dimension pack will be obtained at random. Okay, this, this is very nice because I didn't get to I didn't get to play the previous tower, so I really want uh, this card, um, Fire Royal Storm Guards. Uh, I think it has potential for the future. Um, also, this card will be very cool to have as well, just for collections. Uh, Pyrorex, the Elemental Lord. So this this is a really good thing that they do. And also, one of the following cards from the Legendary Duelist Rainbow Pack will be received at random. Okay, so you can also get. Uh, Prismatic cards, not prismatic cards, cards from prismatic packs from uh, 
Legendary Duelist and also from the GX one as well yeah so both uh, DM and GX all items in the DD box will be restored either by obtaining the items or resetting okay so cool very cool uh, I guess we need a little bit more in order to open that um, next we will play against Starboy and we can see here our dual missions in which you can get get points. Uh, win a duel against Starboy and destroy three monsters in one go. He is also a level 10, so I think it's gonna be uh, easy at least in before another wetland. <laughs> but Starboy plus wetland is kind of huge. Uh, Starboy will be like 20, 2200, no, 20, 2000, 2050. Starboy with uh, wetland, so it will be a thing, but it, thankfully it doesn't open with wetland, so this is good. Uh, I was thinking that I should probably also include some life points, um, you know, some some healing items, uh, not items, uh, cards. Yeah, one thing that's really cool about this event is that it, it feels like an RPG, you know, where you where you climb a certain tower, you know, um, fight your way throughout to to the boss. <laughs> Uh, it it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Final Fantasy Brief Axios. Uh, you know, they, they have a bit of a tower uh, venue or dungeon there. Yeah, so it's very cool, very RPG-like. And the fact that we get to duel against monster is a really cool concept. Because, uh, in my opinion, the dueling... not dueling, sorry. <laughs> the the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, monster have a really interesting lore. Uh, like for example, for example, let's see Ice Water, a very aggressive mermaid that attack everybody with. Okay, this is very standard. But some some cards uh, have their own lores, lores. So it's very interesting to see that, you know, it, maybe in the future they can kind of expand that. Um, in some way, destroy three monsters in one duel. Okay, so we missed that one. Ah, this is very sad. <laughs> can we go back and duel? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, nice. So we just. We can we can do the NPC the monster over and over again if you uh, apparently miss the points. Since they're all level ten, it's still really easy. But I, I don't know how far would this go. I guess level forty, level fifty. That would be my guess. So we're gonna open with Sorcerer Spellwall, which is just pretty good. As I think about about it, maybe. Maybe for this early, early uh, monsters, you know, early NPCs, we can sort of, sort of build our life points. You know, we can stack bunch of uh, LP increasing cards until like our life points are twenty thousand, thirty thousand. <laughs> um, yeah, that that would be one thing, right? Because the car the life points carry over. So I don't see why it shouldn't be a thing unless. The tower is just kind of easy overall. Uh, water hazard. Okay. Let's see what he do. Maybe he gonna tribute summon. No, it's just uh, okay. It's, it's kind of nothing. <laughs> um, we gotta use uh, Hysteric's Fairy's effect next turn in order to heal our life points by one thousand. Uh, just just to keep that healthy life points going. Uh, might as well destroy this, I guess. War hazard. Um, in order to finish this uh, duel a bit earlier. Hopefully, we're gonna summon. We're gonna get a monster, though. Silent Doom. Okay, <laughs> very annoying. So we ain't gonna use his tricks fairy effect yet. Another die. great soldier. Okay. After I think about it, this card, we'll be kind of broken here. Tribe infecting virus. Once per turn, you can banish one monster from your hand. Destroy all face-up monster on on the field with the same type as the monsters. Since we know that all these monsters are or will be uh, water, the attributes. So in that sense, we can kind of just play a bunch of uh, water water uh, attribute monster with this card as a as a centerpiece. <laughs> And that's it. We ain't gonna. We ain't gonna lose. Pretty much, I guess. As long as we can protect tribe infecting virus. At this point, I'm just 
I don't. I, I'm not even sure whether we get a uh, do assessment or not. I didn't pay attention. But let's let's just use it anyway. <laughs> okay. So we did get to heal our life points by one thousand. So that is good. Oh, I started thinking about it. Titan Shieldon would be would be bad in here. <laughs> Stars can break too. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna play Umino Taurus. Wins again. Uh, use spell or trap card to summon. Okay, I'm gonna change um, the legendary duelist here. Get ready. Um, pardon. <laughs> um, because Titan Shieldon is kind of bad for us. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna use Audion because I like I like Audion. Um, Titan Showdown. If you don't know what that is, uh, basically, if your life point, if if any player's life point is double than the other, uh, that person with a um, with a double life point will take double uh, damage. So, since we will probably stack our life points a little bit, it will be pretty bad for us. <laughs> and yeah, I will use a pretty much the same deck. Um, it's, it's exactly the same, basically. Yeah, it is. Uh, I always have this, this deck in every in every draw list that I want to level up with. Oh wait, why is our life points to three thousand nine hundred? Oh, okay. So the life points that we heal. It's not actually carry over, is it? It's just the life points that we lost are were being carried over. Okay, so seems like it. I mean, otherwise, because we did have four thousand nine hundred before. Okay. Uh, like I said, guys, this uh, this is a new experience for me. Um, so. I'm playing pretty much a blind playthrough, a tadpole. So you're probably gonna have a Bill's frog. Bill's frog will be kind of annoying, to be honest. A uh, Bill's frog, I think, uh, is one of those frog card where uh, he will get a uh, attack points depending on how, on how many tadpole. Uh, is it in the graveyards? I think like, oh, I don't know, one, one tadpole for. And it will gain like I know 700 attack or so, something like that. So let's try one more time and confirm our theory uh, that our the, the life point increment is not actually being carried over. Oh, we did get 4,000 right now. Okay. Oh, we d we forgot to use a <laughs> a uh, spell card twice. Okay, let, let's let's play one more time and and get that thing. Um, perfectionist. It's, this is gonna be a 100% run. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not boring for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this event because it it, it has that RPG element in it. it um, it's definitely better than the usual event that they do, you know, like the usual... Uh, I know, like a Pegasus type or the Yami Bakura type kind of event, you know, where you just gain a specific currency like dice or or star chips, and then you have to duel, and then you get to duel this legendary duelist for like I don't know for for the month of how many currency that you have. I mean, those kind of events is, in my opinion, kind of boring. <laughs> um, I don't know. This this kind of thing, this kind of event feels more engaging. Uh, it has at least some sort of a story element. Maybe not that much. I mean, not as much as the one that they had. Uh, what was it before the the set sail to the dual dual kingdom? That one's really really cool. I really like that one. The event is really really cool. Uh, here we, I'm just gonna summon Gandora. The reason why I have Gandora here. Oh. True, but then again, our life points. Well, whatever. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. All in no fear. <laughs> the reason why I have Gandora here is because I want to unlock the playmats, the Gandora playmats. If you don't know Gandora, you can get a Gandora playmat. Oh, I I forgot again. Okay, let's let's do it one more time. <laughs> I'm so bad. I talk too much. Uh, okay, 
Uh, the reason I have Gandora is that uh, you can unlock a Gandora playmat if you don't know by summoning Gandora 100 times. So there's a reason why I have Gandora here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, our life is 2000 now, so it's really bad. But it's okay. Uh, so far, the enemy is really it's kind of weak. So we can kind of kind of use a. Um, Okay, the field, field spell considered normal, uh, you know, like uh, the, the requirement. I'm gonna have to tweak this deck a little bit, maybe, since uh, dual assessment ain't gonna be a thing. So, yeah, I probably, I probably just uh, make a deck around a uh, try infecting virus. <laughs> And maybe a little bit of uh, healing cards. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that after this. Uh, but I still have to activate some cards, but I can't at the moment because we don't have those cards. Uh, hopefully, he will summon something that destroy one monster. Okay, that's good. Now we can use this, and then we can chain wild tornado on it as well. Wait, 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 I couldn't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's summon... Should I summon Gandora here? Hmm. Maybe not. We can just crash. And... Finish the game. Okay. We did activate two spell or traps, but one of them is, uh, is a field spell. So I know whether it count or not. Yeah, it is. So that's good. Uh, next we'll face against Um... Imai Iruka. Yeah, I'm in my Yuruka. Do you know where we are? Yeah, well, I do actually. <laughs> we are in a in the DD Tower Water event. Uh, DD Water Tower. So uh, let's 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 change this deck a little bit. Um, you will see that my strategies have let's no use Icezu because I'm not gonna level her anymore. Uh, she's already max. Let's make a deck around um, Trap Infecting Virus, <clears throat> like like we planned before. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Steam version, uh, if you didn't know. This is how it looks. It's definitely a lot better than um, the mobile version, in my opinion. It's, it's a lot smoother, so that's one thing. Uh, We'll keep we'll keep history fairy because uh, he can heal, or is it a she? I didn't know. <laughs> um, Spirit dragons all right too. Um, what else? Um, regret for rebirth. Uh... Oh, maybe some some water, some water monster <laughs> for the for the fodder. Let's see, water attribute. Is it water attribute? Yeah, should be water attribute. Um, I mean we can take this out. Regretful rebirth is kind of bad. Um, maybe also this. Fiend Mega Cyber. Okay. Um, yeah, we just. Put whatever water monster is uh, high attack, I guess. <laughs> uh, we can sort by uh, attack and filter one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. The Gaga Gigo is definitely here, <laughs> and also uh, this guy, a Beast Warrior. You can discard one water monster to the graveyard, then target one monster in other place. Okay, uh, it's not bad, but. Okay, we do have this one as well. Okay, th this one is definitely better. Uh, because it inflict, inflict piercing, it's a Gemini. Okay, wait, this guy, this guy also. <laughs> uh, but this guy have a uh, higher, higher attack, so... It's okay, we, we will use uh, Gemini Lancer. Uh, we can take this out, I guess, it's kind of useless. Um, we'll put this instead. I think it's looking good. Safe and let's go. 
Uh, I guess we can put in uh, what is this thing called? Inspiration as well, huh? Yeah, ins inspiration definitely. Uh, or rush recklessly, but I don't think I have rush recklessly. Inspiration. Okay. And maybe uh, some other. A mirror wall or something, and maybe a uh, super rush headlong. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take out one monster. Uh, let's take out Gaga Gigo. All right, <clears throat> looking good. Looking pretty good. Uh, we'll we'll keep the the tornado there just in case. Now we're gonna face against Imai Iruka. Uh, wins a duel against Imai Iruka successfully perform three summon in one duel. Fairly easy. Fairly, fairly easy. Our life point is really low though. 1,800. That 2,000 Gaia. But we... Oh, he gonna summon Slushy. Very cute. Uh, Slashy is one of those cards that I really want to try <laughs> one of these days. Um, just to see the viability of it. Uh, we're gonna have to heal a bit though. So. Oh wow, Unified Front. What is this card? Discard one monster and then target one face of monster on the field. It's attack and defense. Become the discarded monster's attack and defense. Becomes 300! Dayo! <laughs> okay, we can kind of crash here. But let's do it. Gonna have to keep that life point. Uh, let's summon Gemini Lancer. We're gonna have to summon Gaga Gigo and also the Fairy in the next turn. We are a life point whore. <laughs> Let's heal a little bit. What is this? New spaceship Aqua Dolphin. Okay, very, very, very fitting. <laughs> because my Ruka is a dolphin, I guess. <laughs> okay, what does this card actually do? Uh, when this card on the field is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, send the tall very card to the deck and then if it were a monster, draw one card. Okay, not, not bad at all, not bad at all. Let's heal one more time and then next turn we will finish this. Uh, I think we are already more than more than uh, three monsters so far. So it's very good. Oh, you're gonna deck out anyway. <laughs> So I, I don't know how long this tower will be, but yeah, so far it's pretty fun. Uh, playing against monster is definitely a lot cooler. <laughs> like I said, it had it had that it has that uh, RPG element to it. So that's very cool. Nice. Another Turu Purun. Oh, okay, only four monsters in here? One, two, three, four. But I guess this is like level 20? No. Inflict 5000 points of damage in one duel. Hmm. How can we do that? Yeah, we can kind of do, but we have to stack a bit of a card, you know, like uh, double inspirations. Yeah, I think we need double inspiration and that's, that's, that will be good. Because uh, our monster is basically just 1800 mostly, most of the time. Nice. So I guess we can go over 4000 in our life points. Polymerization. What? <laughs> I, 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 why would she use this card? <laughs> this card is so bad. 
Okay, but is attack directly? Well, you have uh, once you well you have any face down monster in here, you can attack. Okay, very annoying, <laughs> very annoying indeed. Uh, don't forget that we have to uh, inflict five thousand uh, points of damage. Let's just finish this as fast as possible. Um. Why, why would you choose that to root for an? <laughs> this this AI man, this AI. Fairy smile. Oh, I forgot we also have this this skill. I, I totally forgot that we also have fairy fairy smile. So this is very good because every time we draw fairy card, we heal one thousand points. So that's very good. Um, I think at this point we can uh, attack. Next turn though, um, I will need to inflict 1000 more. Yeah, so I need, pretty much I need double inspiration at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I unknowingly went with a better with a better skill, I guess, <laughs> for for this specific event, because Fairy Smile is really good. You feel one thousand points every time. It's it's crazy. This this you basically can just run a Fairy centric deck, and you won't you won't run out of life points like ever. <laughs> um, we need one more inspiration. This Richard. Bubble Man, pretty cool. But you can use this effect though for the double draw. Uh, the thing about Bubble Man is that a lot of people use it these days for uh, for th that I I guess Weevil or Tia Burn kind of deck uh, because when you draw this card by itself, you can special summon it and then you can draw two cards. It's, it's very good for those kind of deck. So yeah, I think. We can just uh, finish this, plus with this double inspiration, but we should be good. Nice. So yeah, we're we're we are using a very very good character actually. <laughs> For this event, without knowing it, <laughs> it's, it's pure luck, dumb luck. Um, Starboy, let's go. Uh, summon Water Girl one, one time in one duel. Okay, so I need to summon Water Girl. Okay, that, that's a very bad card, but it's in there. We have to do it. Oops, it's a it's a wrong it's a wrong deck. Water girl. Let's see. Uh, I don't even have it. <laughs> what about this girl? Yeah, I don't have it. What? Uh, oh, because it's still in the um, in the gift box, maybe. Because we did we did get that water girl. So it's a reward. Yeah, here it is. Completion reward. Nice. So let's put that girl into our deck. It kind of sucks that we only have one of them though. Uh, let's see. That one here. Water girl. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, here it is. Um, 
4 star 1250 1250 so bad <laughs> okay uh let's let's take out the gagagigo i guess and put in some uh a share of greed and maybe we can take out walter I know how you should feel about this, like the it, it's cool, you know, like you need to do certain things, but <laughs> having to uh, play specific cards into the duel is a bit it's a bit hassle, I would say. <laughs> I guess we can open the box, uh, the DD box to get more water girl, but I I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> see inspiration this BGM is really really cool to be honest it's really cool hopefully we can get a triple Gishki Emilia uh, the new ice barrier is pretty cool as well uh, I believe it's it has the same effect as uh, Sh Shogun Shin if you didn't know the great Shogun Shin is the next boss monster in the in the next mini box uh, a lot of YouTuber already cover it, I think. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be redundant, I guess. Uh, Great Shogun Shien is kind of the boss monster of the six samurai archetype. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Basically, what the effect is that uh, you can only activate uh, your opponent can only activate one spell or trap cards per turn, and I think that uh, the ice barrier card in here, the one that you can get from the DD box has the same effects but the ice barrier I think is like level 7 or something like that so <laughs> you really need you really need the triangle for it to be kind of relevant uh, it's kind of sad that we didn't get a Mullen Glacier I guess it would be too strong uh, in because in, in the fire in the fire DD, DD fire tower uh, they gave us a Pyrorex which is the elemental lord but in here we didn't get Mullen Glacier, which is the Water Elemental Lord. So we finally summon our Water Girl, so that's good. So we fulfill our um, what does it call mission? I guess Mullen Glacier will be too strong, for, um, and the fact that Water uh, Attribute is actually kind of relevant. As well, um, like uh, Maku Tsunami's use water centric deck, uh, Ice Barrier is water centric deck, so I guess it would be a lot stronger than Pyrex, which is you know fire. But then again, fire Neptis decks also fire. <laughs> um, I'm running out of voice here somehow. Uh, let's put the Gaga Gigo back. And we have to finish this duel in seven turns, which is uh, kind of easy, I guess, <laughs> considering their monster is like really weak. I don't know how long this level ten will continue, but I guess it will be pretty long because uh, five uh, five points per box, in, not not per box, like per try, I guess. Uh, that means, and I think it has like at least 15 to 20 rewards inside. I guess this tower will go pretty long. <laughs> they, Konami need to give us like a tons of uh, points, you know, uh, in order for us to be able to get, uh, you know, a lot of, not a lot, but at least multiple copies of the SR. So we are right now in our uh, turn 4, turn 5, turn 6 we have to finish this, which I think we can do, no problem. Uh, 
There it is. Very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The sea is full of misery. That is true. That is true, Minotaurus. Cart sleeves. Wow, nice. We get new cart sleeves here. Your life point increased by 1000. Thanks to the support from one friend on the same floor. Okay, so friends actually play a relevant factor in here. Very cool. Inflict 500 points of effect damage in one duel. So we're gonna have to <laughs> change our deck a little bit again. Uh, I guess at this point it's a bit safe to say that we just we can just put the double uh, sh uh, the shard in here. Uh, let's let's put uh, what, what card? Hinotama, Hinotama. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> uh, let's put like three. I don't think we need mirror wall anymore. <laughs> uh, da -da -gigo. Nice. Okay. Yeah, water is indeed a mysterious place. Do you know that uh, actually? Uh, we humans knows a lot more about the space, um, you know, the, the space, the outer space, the galaxy and whatnot. We know more about those than we know about our own ocean or our, our own sea. These are, these are pretty interesting facts. Fairy smile. Oh, okay, so... The life points that we get from our friend is actually not not really it does not increase the maximum LP that we can get. It just heal, basically. So it, it kinda sucks. Because I initially thought that uh, it will increase our maximum LP. <laughs> into 5000, which is pretty cool. But turns out it doesn't, so it kind of sucks. Okay, at this point, I'm just waiting for the Hinotama. Hmm, tribute summon, finally. Kairu Shin. Very cool. Hinotama. We have 3 out of 11. So, very high chance actually. Yeah, the sea is definitely a very mysterious place. Uh, I, for me, I really, I really like the sea actually. A lot of people are afraid of the sea, you know, because uh, um, I know some some people are just afraid of the sea because it's it's vast. It's, it's I mean it's it's unbelievable. Once you when once you go to the beach, for example, you see how vast is it it is. I know. Yeah, I know some people who are kind of kind of afraid a little bit of the sea. You know, they're they're afraid to go into the sea. But yeah, but I can't blame them. Um, Nice, we get 80 gems out of that. It's very cool. And we can get a SR, SR jewel as well. Nice. Successfully perform, I can't speak, perform one tribute summon in one duel. So, <laughs> seems like, seems like every time we have to kind of tweak the deck a little bit more, you know, just to fulfill this thing. But it's, you know, it's, it's those events, you know? So let's just uh, take some some random stuff, I guess. Some one tribute, some one tribute um, monster. Let's see. Let's just grab. Okay, what is this? Yeah, okay, wh whatever you are. <laughs> as long as it's level six. 
Okay, you in. This is a normal association. You in, uh, but no. Um. Okay, Ryu Koki in. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> nice. S SR uh, jewel is really nice. I, I really need more SR jewels, Venus. Because there are so many SR cards that I want to trade in the card traders, but SR SR cards kind of. I mean, you get them often, you know, like in in a in an event, but you use it you use it a whole lot more in compared to, uh, for example, you are you are card, uh, yeah, you are you are jewel, you know. Um, I mean, not not many you are monster, I guess that people use. Oh, wetlands. Okay, this will be annoying. <laughs> uh, it's kind of sucks that I forgot to set the inspiration though. So we're just gonna normal summon an Abyss Warrior here, and end our turn. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I rarely use UR jewels. Uh, anyway, I mean, the only UR jewels that I use is for uh, BLS and also what's this called again? B Buster Dragon. Only those two these days. What is this got to do? Uh, pay 500 life points, special summon from both. Uh, so <laughs> it's a really bad card, but but under Wetland, I think it becomes kind of okay. Um, Ryu Koki is card that we use. But yeah, you are jewels. Those are the only cards that I that I use for, I guess, these days. Because aside from those, uh, I don't think there is any other UR card that is kind of worth to to trade. I know Air Knight Parshas, I guess, will be all right. Uh, which I already got two of them. And also, uh, what's the other one? Um, Guardian Angel Joan. I got that one as well. I got two of them, I think. I don't think I, I need any more of that. Uh, let's just use, in case he got that unified front. Because it seems like the the meta of this of this, uh, of, of this tower. Oh, it's not just a League of Uniform Nomenclature. Wow, <laughs> very annoying. Yeah, of course. Uh, yep, yep. I oh, damn, I forgot to turn this on. It's okay. I can just activate this. Submarine Frog. Very strong. 2200 under wetland. Hmm. And inflict piercing damage as well. Very strong card. Very strong card. But I think we can only get one wetland if I'm not mistaken. So there's that. And otherwise wetland would be... Wetland centric de deck would be... Very very... Very very interesting to see. And it could be meta as well. Talking about meta, I have a kind of interesting deck that I want to share with you guys. Uh, it's an ancient gear deck, but with a little bit of twist. Not not like the usual <laughs> ancient gear deck, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, by the end of the day, it's it's the same, of course. Like the Ace Monster is uh, the ancient gear golem, but. Uh, the approach that I, I take with this deck is a bit different, so I, I will I will make a video about it maybe in the next video. Uh, hope you guys uh, stay tuned until then. <laughs> Deep Sea Macro Terma. At some point, this card seen play. <laughs> no joke, no joke. <laughs> uh, I think it was like in the beginning of Duel Links, you know, like February or so. <laughs> it's a really really old card. It's a really old meta as well. 
um, with this field spell we automatically get the 2000 uh, damage so that's good that's very good indeed stars can break too <laughs> oh what is this Daedalus this is my ocean my domain you are but prey very cool Navia Dragon Daedalus but somehow somehow the art it looks too cartoonish. Achieve no damage win. Okay, I think I think we can do this. Uh, in compared to the others, like from uh, in compared to Unia Tauris or in compared to Imairukas, for example, the Daedalus looks too cartoonish. You know, the the color is a bit too too bright. I think too col um, I wouldn't say too colorful. Colorful. It's just. It's just too cartoonish, you know, like, the color is too cartoonish. Water hazard. Steel shell. 400, I think. In before crash. <laughs> um, so let's just uh, banish... Try infecting. Wait, what? Why is this card not destroyed? <laughs> Once per turn, you can banish one monster from your hand. Destroy all face of monsters on the field with the same type as that monster. This is water. This is water. Why is this card not destroyed? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't, but... <laughs> Very weird indeed. Um, I guess at this point, we can just summon History Fairy and... And crash. Yeah, I don't know why it, did, it didn't. It didn't destroy the pipe, the Atlantean. This is really weird. And the Daedalus actually has a thousand life points. That's crazy. That's crazy. So this is kind of like the boss. This is pretty cool, actually. The concept is really fun. I really like this. Too bad that you can't get the actual Daedalus. It will be, it'll be really cool if you can do that. His trick fairy, let's let's get a bit of life points. Uh, we pretty much steamroll this, I guess. And we did get the no damage win, so that's good. Very easy, but it's level ten. <laughs> but that that bug, I think that thing is a bug though. Uh, the the fact that the Atlant the Atlantean didn't die. We did get the Gishki Emilia. Okay, so. I think you can also get Gishki Ariel. We have one friend here, Phoenix Flare. Thank you, Phoenix Flare. Z and Zeon on 18th floor. Nice. Oh, in here you can you play like a two a set of two, okay, instead of one. You stop, go home. Successfully perform one summons, one fusion summon in one duel. And then you, I have to summon Gishke Emilia. <laughs> okay. Um, let's edit our deck a little bit. So we need to fusion summon. Plus we need to be able to special uh, summon Gishke Emilia. Okay. Edit deck real quick. I'm just gonna cut here real quick. 